Hello, I'm Prasad Michael. It's Friday the 13th and this is the Daily Fact Sheet. We bring you the highlights of the hottest news of the day. The White House has expressed that it is deeply disappointed with the conviction of opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim and said that it will continue to raise its displeasure on the matter. The US government was responding to an American-led online petition in support of the opposition leader that had reached its target of 100,000 signatures. The petition was created by former US Ambassador to Malaysia, John Mallet, to pressure the American government under President Barack Obama to make Anwar's release a top priority in US foreign policy towards Malaysia. The White House ended its statement saying history has shown that countries that uphold the human rights of all their citizens, regardless of their political affiliation, ethnicity, race, religion or sexual orientation, are ultimately more prosperous and more stable. One Malaysia development Burhat may have repaid over 2 billion ringgit of its debt since the beginning of this year, but its debt is likely to continue to grow because it is largely in US dollars. In view of the weakening ringgit against the greenback, Vataling Jaya Uttara MP Tony Poor estimated that 1MDB's debt should be closer to 50 billion ringgit. With the ballooning debt, Poir said the government's push to have 1MDB list its energy arm is unlikely to raise enough funds to rescue the company. Past Central Committee member Muhammad Anipa Maiden has labelled the Ulama faction as a problem to the party. Hanipa said many young religious scholars returning from the Middle East score top marks in reciting the Quran and the Hadith from memory, but fail when dealing with real-world issues or with analytical thinking. Anipa also said that part of the problem is that the scholars are seeking a utopian and purest version of Islam, which sees diversity as a threat, even though Islam thrives in diversity. With that, we take a look at some international headlines. The Islamic State group welcomed a pledge of allegiance made to it by Boko Haram and vowed to press with its expansion. According to an audio tape released on Thursday, IS spokesperson Muhammad al Adnani urged Muslims to join militants in West Africa and play down victories by the US-led coalition and Iraqi forces against his group. Russian rescue workers on Thursday combed through the incinerated rubble of a shopping mall for the bodies of 25 people still missing a day after a fire ripped through the centre, leaving seven dead. The Emergency Situations Ministry said it had abandoned hope of finding any survivors after the three-storey building was destroyed in the blaze in Kazan. Let it go? Looks like Disney doesn't plan to. Make way, here comes the sequel. Disney Animation announced on Thursday that a sequel to the animated mega-hit Frozen is in the works. Frozen won two Oscars last year for the Best Animated Feature and Best Original Song for Let It Go. And with that, we end our fact sheet for today. For more in-depth videos, visit kinetv.com. I am Prasad Michael. Thanks for watching. <laughs>